God. <laughs> Paris again. All right. Hello, all you folks out there in YouTube land. Lord Crocus Squirrel with the lovely Kente on board. Hello, everybody. And this is the Better Late Than Never coverage of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, in all fairness, I have not finished this game. I have actually been liking it quite a lot, and therefore some of the things I'm going to say are going to seem a little... Uh, a little harsh. But stick with me here because I've got a, because we've got actually got a reason for some of it. All right, let's go ahead and do this thing here. We have the magic of the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. It's doing its thing. All right, and let me make sure I let me make sure our audios are correct. Let me let me just grab our audios here for a second and make sure you're going to be able to hear this. Uh, yeah, because on the on Otherwise, uh, we, our voices will be drowned. Yep, nope, we're good. So, let's have a look. And this was our last autosave. This is the autosave that we had uh, not too terribly far back. This is the one from the last video, the one we had to take down, mm -hmm. because we actually did have some audio issues. All right, here we go. So, a few things that I like about the game. Number one, Hyrule is actually fairly large and has some stuff in it. Not as much stuff as I would like, uh, but then this is the Wii U version, so maybe that's actually a thing. No, actually, it's probably not. I heard the same thing of the Switch version. Uh, the first time I tried to get into that ice shrine just up north on the, on the plateau, uh, I froze to death <laughs> rather quickly. I haven't figured out how to get there yet, but I probably will someday. Okay, and we're going to go with this tree branch right here because we can break those rather quickly. Because uh, that actually leads to the other problem that I have actually had with this. This is the other problem I've been having with this particular game. Don't get me wrong, it looks gorgeous and it's probably... Not gonna look, not gonna really look any worse, but I do take issue with some of this. All right, where was that? Where I don't remember where that chest was that we saw earlier. There's a chest over here somewhere yeah. with a pair of pants in it, which is not a bad thing, honestly. But it's... You already got the pants. Oh, no, pants. I'm already wearing the pants. Okay, that makes more sense. Duh. That's why I can't find the chest. <laughs> All right. The, pa the pants and the boots that come with the pants. Yeah, well, the boots are part of the pants. Apparently, boots are part of pants, and it's just a thing. Yeah. You need to find a better shirt. You're still wearing the old shirt. Yeah, still wearing an ancient shirt that sucks. But then again, as most people would, uh, as most people would have you know, feces occurs. Okay. Now you want to watch these three die without me even, without me even having to touch them. This is the easy one. <coughs> You're gonna get three critters down here. Their weapons are going to be intact when we get to them. It makes everything go boom, except their weapons, which are still lying about. Here's uh, a Boko Club. Yeah. The I weapons remain. Throw... Yes, the weapons remain. <laughs> Unbelievable. The weapons remain, but they're dead. They are very dead. They're In dead. fact, while I'm at it, I think I'm going to steal their dinner. It's a seared steak. Mm. And I'll even tell you how much is, and this thing will even tell you just how how much it's actually worth, in term in in your terms. Now, say hello to my little friend, because these guys are going to attack me right here. 
Okay. If it's a melee weapon, it should not do that what that that thing what it just did. I've got a couple of these. Okay. Cuz they're going to there there comes times when you, there's there are times that are going to come when I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a bow. Good. Draw a bow, release to fire. Right, got it. I don't need the range weapon that damn bad. Okay. Oh, and there's some arrows. That'll be good. Oh, look. There goes my club. Now I have to back off this guy and go find another weapon. But, I was, but before I do that, I'm going to steal a shield. This guy might as well have been a freaking boss. And yeah. he has, not only does he have a sword, that's not what I want, that's not what I wanted. I'll take that there, Traveler Sword. Which will look really great next and to the axe that I have mentioned. Shield. And the shield. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now we actually have... I think it's... Now we have what I would consider yeah. a nearly complete set of equipment. However, there's a problem here. In that no matter how many times I try and use this... I'll start with the sword. Uh, sooner or later, it's going to get broken. And I will not be able to make any. I will not be able to make. I will not be able to change that at all until the very end. Of, until the right near the end of the game. Yes, I know. I'm supposed to go over there and turn that tower on. I'm not doing that right now. Actually, I could. Well, no, I don't want to do that. There's a reason I don't want to do that. But weapon breakage. Big heavy club. You shouldn't be able to break it. You really shouldn't. And even if you could, I'm. Uh, There's real. There's really a hundred reasons why this shouldn't even happen. Just like that climbing thing that just happened. It shouldn't be that. That is the thing that should not be. Yeah. Okay. That is actually the edge of the plateau near as I can figure. If I jump down there, I'm going to be dead. Okay. They say suicide is wrong. Well, suicide's way too easy around here in some spots. And even if it weren't, there's still you still wind up having a, a huge set of problems that you should not uh, that you should not have otherwise. Sadly, what I'm looking for now is more thing is more shit to kill, and maybe a shirt that doesn't look like crap and provides some limited protection. And you go. Might be in these ruins over here. Anyway, I uh, as far as the game goes, the controls aren't too bad as long as you're not using that big clunky piece of shit that actually came with the Wii U. Uh, that could be very bad. I don't think I want to play with. You know what, dude? I don't think I want to play with you. Oh no, I definitely don't want to play with you. Um. Yeah, I'm not playing with you no more. You're going to shoot freaking laser beams at me. I'm not playing with you no more. Yeah, this thing is too big. Too big, too dangerous. Can I climb down? I don't think I'm going to be able to climb. I don't think I don't think I've got enough stamina to do that. <laughs> Yeah, having enough stamina to do that. You could theoretically march right out of the start, right out of that starting area, and straight to the end of the game. But you're probably going to get killed in your first couple of seconds, just like you would deserve if you did that. Your job is to go and help Zelda. Uh, 
And that's kind of where some of the problems actually lie with this game. Uh, the idea of Sarkeesian, of course, decried this as Zelda being the damsel in distress yet again, when this is, in fact, not what happened. Uh, Zelda put him in there, put him in the resurrection machine because, uh, well, frankly, because there was, uh, a whole pile of shit that, there was a whole pile of shit that went on, Link got his ass kicked, and I'm wondering if I can get, wonder if I can kill those yeah. guys straight off. Nope, too short, we're leaving. <laughs> running, 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 running! Yeah. Yeah. But Zelda is not the damsel in distress. No, she's actually the one over at Iroh Castle, keeping Ganon in, and she let everything else go to shit <laughs> so that she could keep Ganon from ending the world, while Link, the puss, having been having gotten himself killed or something close to it, uh, in the last in his previous outing against this particular Ganon uh, came back to life a set, uh, in, in, a, in a little adventure for him, a little nap for him, actually, that lasted a century. Hmm. Okay, so she's given up a, she's given up a substantial portion of her life, you know, because, as you do, Okay. Yeah. This green stamina wheel, that is shit on a stick. That's actually shit on several sticks. Because you can't act. Because if you if you muck it up, you can't do anything that actually involves it until um until somewhat later. There's the Almano Shrine, which we can't get into yet. Oh, maybe we can. I don't know. Oh no, there's a thing. It's actually planted over that until after we get that tower over there put back uh, to come up. Yeah. Which is fine, I don't care. But still, it seems like it would be a much better use of our time if we didn't have. If, well. If we didn't have to go to the tower and then go back. Yeah. Because there is a whole pile of bounce around in here, and yeah, maybe a little too much back and forth shit. Oh, what's that? Hyrulean herb. Okay. Cooking before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. Well, okay. You can cook it. You have to find a fire or make a fire or something. You've got very limited inventory space. There's a lot wrong with this. Uh, and of course. Just to just to put icing on the freaking cake, which I find uh, in in a move that I find absolutely hilarious, there are in fact people out there that seem to think that the protagonist, the the primary uh, the protagonist of the Legend of Zelda series is female, despite the fact that we can clearly see that he is not, um, just by looking at him. Uh, because it's Zelda's name on the freaking box. And for no other reason. Yeah. And and because Anita Sarkeesian determined that uh, Zelda is a damsel in distress. And she can't... She is, she is to blame a lot for the fact that people think that the protagonist of the Zelda series is a woman. Actually, believe it or not, they the that was the thought that was actually a thought when the first Legend of Zelda came out, and it's been a thought every once in a while. And then, of course, she got pissed off when she found out that Breath of the Wild wasn't gonna was going to star Link again in his generic female in his generic male elfy form, and there would not be a female quote unquote option for this. Uh, it's almost like mm -hmm. you know people. Th it's almost like people think that Korra for Mass Effect had to be had, had to be a yeah. had to be a lesbian because reasons. Because she has a trendy 
uh, haircut and trendy haircut only is worn is only worn by lesbians. Yeah, right. Like. Yeah. Huh? No, no well, fucking way. Trendy well. haircut. Trendy haircut equals queer code. This is a, such a narrow world view that I have no words. Yeah. No, I've actually, I've dated women with, with haircuts like that. It's actually not a problem as far as I'm concerned. Um, I had, I had worn similar uh, uh, haircuts when I was younger. Uh -huh. So, uh, and uh, it was never mistaken for queer code. Don't look at it me, was, I don't know anything uh, about it. And uh, I also have worn a punk hairstyle. I have been, I have been a punk at a, a certain point of my youth. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Really, what uh, we're doing here is we're wandering uh, around having a chat about some... About some of the crap that went that has been spoken of this game, <coughs> and Label, labeling people by their appearance is all kinds of wrong people. Yeah, I don't care if it's your skin color, what you think they're supposed to look like, or what you think they're supposed to be because of a haircut or anything else. You're being silly, and the sad part of it is, is a lot of you know it. Not necessarily the people in that the people that make up my audience, but certainly there are people out here that are well aware. Uh, people that actually watch my stupid bullshit that are well aware that this is not the way things go. Forgive me if I started sounding a little SJW there, but damn, try not to just at least try not to be retarded. It would really help me out. And if you find somebody that you don't that you don't agree with, don't go harassing them. Especially not if it not not if it was something that I pointed out, because that's just all you're going to do that way is add insult to injury. Yeah, uh, the thing here, uh, uh, we both think that this game is lacking, it especially is kind of because we. We, we have watched something further in the game, and the game lacks. But uh, die-hard fans of Zelda will take offense, and again, there we go. Offense cannot be given, can only be taken. Uh, fans of Zelda. And you with fans. Fans are kind of protective of what they like well, and even you know, when the game when the game is a bad game or is lacking in something uh they will protect it no it's still good maybe it's not the best but it's still good all right well, let me it's make something clear to you guys here i um... I actually will. I actually actively agree with Jim Sterling here. This game is not what we call great. It's it's good. It's not a nine or a ten by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a seven. You are being very. It's a seven. It really is. You are it's being... a seven or so. And my sword is now nine kinds of busted up. I give it a six, and I'm being generous. No, it's it's it would actually be okay at seven. I'm not, you know, it's better than a lot of games I see. But at the same time, I don't think it's actually worth breaking people in half. Okay, for. Uh, comparing to Zelda games. I'll be honest with you, I've um, never actually rated a Zelda game over an 8. Okay. And, uh, comparing to other games that we see around, then maybe it's a 7. Uh, it's just... It's... 
story it's not the best thing in the world I didn't think it, I didn't, I'm it's, not saying it has to be the best thing in the world I'm saying it doesn't deserve a perfect score and yeah it, it will get thousands uh, of uh, good reviews and people will buy it and play it and keep saying it's wonderful because Zelda. And you do not argue with fan with fans or fanatics for what it's worth. I can do all kinds of things if I want to. Doesn't mean it's actually going to do any. It's not going to. It doesn't mean it's going to do them any good. So anyway, they're not actually they're. You know, I'm certainly open to having my mind changed about some things, but if we're being completely honest, I have better things to do. I honestly have, I actually have better, uh, I have better things to do than sit and argue with some goofball because they absolutely insist that um, this thing is way better than anything that I've ever seen and that if I don't agree, then I'm an idiot and an asshole. <laughs> okay. If you want to say that, then by all means say it, but at least be honest with yourself about it. If you're saying this is a brilliant game because you don't want to be the one having to justify buying a game of this particular caliber, um, then that's fine. You can do that. But at least be honest with yourself. Be, at least be honest with, and remember that that's that's what you're doing. Yeah, uh, being honest that you bought the game and you like the game because Zelda. Okay. It's... No one is going to hold you responsible if you bought the game because it's a Zelda game, and you know you want to justify. You want to justify to yourself or to somebody else that this is why there you bought is it. No, Don't there is no need to justify. There is no need. That's the point. You are a fan. You like the game. Okay. I'm fine with that. It's just not as it's not as good as a lot of the as a lot of the um, as a lot of the quote unquote professional reviewers. Would like to would like you to believe, and that's that. Those are the folks I take issue with. It's the ones that will tell yeah. you that it's that that is absolutely brilliant. It's perfect. It's everything, and it's really not. You know, it's a triple. It's a, a triple A game. It does not deliver. That's all. I and just remember that Kitty's actually better. being more harsh than I am. Because, like I said, I don't actually mind the game. I'm having fun with it, but it's it's not all that in bags of chips. It really isn't. Our time, our time is over. By well, the our way. time expired a while ago. I already heard the dinosaurs. You already shut the dinosaurs up. So guess mm -hmm. what? We're actually way over time. Now I could have ended that fight in just a moment or two from way over here with an arrow. Did I do that? No. Alright. So with that, I'm actually going to save this here. Because I might actually come back to this part of the game again. But, um... Yeah, you don't have to be... Uh, you don't... It's not that we have to be silly. Um, yeah, I'm not rating it higher than a 7. Because it doesn't actually have that coming. It's got its problems... It's a good game, but it has its problems, and I'm not going to give it a pass on its problems because Zelda, and you shouldn't either. All right, so between now and then, uh, be safe, be sane, and let's make games fun again. See ya. Remember, folks, she was the one that was actually meaner to this game than I was. <laughs>